a very happy Canada Day, as well as talk about new Bruins head coach Jim Montgomery joining us on the Harbor One Hotline. The one, the only, the Razor himself, Andrew Raycroft. Razor, good morning and happy Canada Day, my friend. Yes, happy Canada Day to everybody out there, and uh, glad to jump on this morning. Uh, could you just, for those of us, before we get into Jim Montgomery, uh, what is Canada Day and why is it celebrated? <laughs> well, Canada is a country, and so, so I heard. as I... most countries do, mm-hmm. like the July 4th day, uh, we celebrate the, the first day of our country that became uh, separated from the Commonwealth, no longer under the Queen's thumb. That is Canada Day, July 1st. Lots of fireworks up there, mm-hmm. barbecues, the whole thing. I thought it was because of Drake. Do, do poutine, you. Does, does poutine Stand go well here. at a barbecue? No, nah, poutine's not a barbecue thing, but it's certainly uh, the next morning after a, a mm. 28 Canadian beers, poutine is, is helpful. <laughs> yes, it is. Top five, top five hangover helper for sure. All right, so Razor, Jim Montgomery sort of came from out of nowhere. I think this kind of caught a lot of us off guard from left field, if you will. Uh, yes, Ms. Corbin. Uh, well, I will say it caught a lot of us off guard. I think that, Razor, you knew about it. And I think you knew about it when you were on this show. Because when we asked you, you were, like, non-committal to anything. And then you tweet immediately when he's announced, Jim Montgomery was the best option, great hire. I think you were in on it, and you you didn't let us in. I was not in on it, Courtney. Mm. Jim Montgomery's name was out there, though. It was the – there was a couple names that were getting tossed just the past few days. But Jim Montgomery kind of always been out there. And and the Bruins – that. The the concern with the coaching hire was going to be how do you get a younger guy but also a guy that knows which door to go into in each NHL dressing room, knows which way to go in NHL arenas because you have guys like Patrice Bergeron, Brad Marchand, you needed some experience as well. And it was going to be tough to thread the needle, and, and I think Jim Montgomery does that as well as anybody. So the Bruins are, are able to, to get him, and, and if, if it's – if it comes to the official signing, I, I think it is as good as they could have done this summer. Razor, when you look at his style, what? because I remember when you were on, I, that was my biggest thing. What's his style of kind of coaching philosophy that we can see him, you know, uh, explore for the Bruins uh, this upcoming season? Is, is he more of an offensive guy? Is he more of a defensive guy? Is, you know, what, what, what can we expect from him? I would, the way I would explain is a, a detailed offensive guy. And I use the word detailed as a guy who knows that you still have to play some defense. You still have to be very, very able to win on a consistent basis in the NHL. But those details are going to be taken care of, and he wants guys to, to play with pace, get out on the offense, and go. And, and I think what he did in Dallas and then what he's done as an assistant coach, getting some of the younger St. Louis Blues guys to, to have their best season. And, and a lot of them complimented and, and talked about how much Jim Montgomery helped their game. So so those are the things, that's the style that, that we'll see from from a Bruins team. It'll be it'll be similar to what we've seen. It, it's not far off from, from what Bruce Cassidy brought in when Claude Julian was fired. I, I think it, that, that transition's fairly similar. Uh, we're speaking with Nesson Bruins analyst Andrew Raycroft on the Harbor One Hotline. Uh, Razor, so I, I see he played for five teams. He coached with Dallas, obviously had to take some personal time away from the game, better himself, get healthy, comes back with St. Louis. Um, but what do you think about uh, exactly like bringing in a guy like Montgomery? What does that say to the vet? If he's going to be an offensive first guy, and if this is something along the lines of like trying to develop the younger players, what does this say to – Bergeron what does it say to Marshawn what does it say to the veterans on the team who may be considering uh coming close to their end of playing days especially Ber- Bergie who just recently or so we came to hear might be coming back for one more go well this 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 shows that they're going for it this this isn't this isn't a rebuild coach this isn't a, a young guy that is taking his first job that is going to learn on the fly and learn from Patrice that maybe five or six years from now He's going to really be good. This this guy's a legit coach. He's been a hockey lifer. He's been a pro coach for a dozen years at this point now, and, and he's been an NHL guy. And if you didn't have the personal issues that he had, he'd still probably be coaching in Dallas, to be honest. So 
So the Bruins get an opportunity, and, and it proves to the older guys that we're still going for this and, and we're still committed to this. And it also tells the younger guys that we're also paying attention to you and we're trying to get someone who's going to try and communicate a little bit better for you guys as well. Yeah, because, Razor, to me it feels like almost like this is a, a move for now and for later. Like, they want this to be a, a long-term thing, knowing how good he was at the University of Denver. Like, they won a national championship. Uh, he's so good with those younger players. Does this indicate to you as well that they are the Bruins are heavily dedicated to really uh, growing that youth that they, are, they have and that they plan on drafting? No question. No question. And, and they've got a lot of building blocks in place in the development side of, of the organization. Guys like Adam McQuaid back in the mix. We see Chris Kelly on the bench. He's in the mix with those younger guys. So so they're, they're certainly committed to, to developing. And, and I think they, they want to prove that they have guys in the lineup that they can bring up and become NHL hockey players. And I, I think the other thing is, is you, and you just kind of mentioned it, Shai, like this is they, the Bruins – for a very long time, haven't hired someone to fire them within a year and a half, two years. Not a quick fix, not a John Tortorella type guy who just comes in and changes the culture over a year, but then burns everybody out. You had Claude Julian for as long as you had. Bruce Cassidy was just here six years. That's a long time, a really long time in pro sports, NHL hockey especially. And I think they're looking at Jim Montgomery as being similar. And they want to have him develop as a coach, but also – have a culture behind him. It's not, this isn't just a a one and done. Let's see what we can get out of this season. And then we're going to blow the whole thing up higher. So raise it. Now they got the coach. What is the next and most important step for this Bruins organization uh, moving forward? For me, it's free agency. I know the draft's coming. Uh, They're going to draft players, but where they're drafting, there's no one that's going to be impactful next season uh, unless you, hit the, the one-in-a-million lottery ticket like Patrice Bergeron. The, the, the reality is free agency's coming in. Who are the guys that are a little bit off the board that they can get in the lineup? On the back end, can they get a little bigger, a little longer, a little tougher, a little stronger? Uh, on the front, can they, can they keep improving on the depth? And then, of course, it's the, the, the big matzo ball hanging is, is David Krejci. And is, is this a real thing? Is it just a, a David Pasternak Instagram troll job? What What's actually happening there, and, and what does it look like come July 13th, 14th? Uh, Razor, I, I know that he's from Montreal, but he went to UMaine, so somewhat of a coming home for him. And you look at other guys on the coaching staff, I know Mike Dunham being one of them also played at UMaine. So does that add into this a little bit, like a little bit of a homecoming for Montgomery? Uh, I, I think so. I think that, you know, the couple of the other guys that were talked about, Dave Quinn, Jay Leach, those guys have more of a tie to Boston. Uh, so I, I, I would assume that it, it's helpful to understand the Boston market. It's helpful to understand the the sports radio, sports market, how important some of the extracurricular things are for a coach. But But at the end of the day, if Jim Montgomery had just gone to Denver and stayed in Denver, I think he'd still be a great hire for this team. Razor, last one for me before we wrap it up, and we appreciate the time very much. Uh, I'm not sure if you had the Avalanche as the cup winners this year, uh, but that was a pretty impressive win for them as well. Uh, let's get your way-too-early Stanley Cup 2023 prediction. <laughs> oh, my God. Come on. Yeah, just I'm, you can't Sean, blame it on the little bats. It's too early. Last July, right? <laughs> Sean, yep. you picked Colorado last July in six, right? That's what it was. Is that what it was? That's correct. Yes, went way out on the limb. Ah, oh, boy. Well, why don't I just take the Bruins now with this new hire? Yeah. I, mean, ah, I know no one will take me seriously, but at, at this point, it's as good as it's as good as picking Detroit or Tampa or Toronto or whoever else huh. you want to pick. Bruins, Edmonton. Oh, wouldn't that be – wouldn't that – a throwback to 1990s. Maybe we'll even get – to 80 – yeah. 80, uh, was it 88 or 90? Throwback. We had fog on the ice because it was June and the refrigeration wasn't working right and the ice was melting oh, and the power went out. Yep. Oh, fire up the duck boats and fill them with Molson. Thank you very much, Andrew Raycroft. You can follow him on Twitter. I just tweeted at him, at Andrew Raycroft. Happy Canada Day. Have a great Fourth of July weekend. Stay safe, and we'll talk to you soon, brother. Thanks, gang. Have a great long weekend.